Chapter 2, Interpretation of the Apocalypse, Scripture Key to the Subject of the Prophecy. No interpretation of the apocalypse can be secure and stable, but that which is based on divinely given explanations of its symbols and visions. In seeking to understand the prophecy, our first question should be, what saith the scripture? The diligent use of divinely given helps for the interpretation of the symbolic prophecy is the true and only way to its comprehension. In science and philosophy, men followed for many ages a false method of reasoning and research, building their conclusions upon a basis of dogmatic speculation instead of deducing them from a full collection of well-established facts. In his Novum Organum, or True Suggestions for the Interpretation of Nature, Bacon exposed this mistaken method. The sole cause, says Bacon, and root of almost every defect in the sciences is this, that while we falsely admire and extol the powers of the human mind, we do not search for its real helps. Speculations and theories of mankind are but a kind of insanity, only there is no one to stand by and observe it. We must bring men to particulars and their regular series in order and make an instauration from the very foundations if we do not wish to revolve forever in a circle, making only some slight and contemptible progress. An analogous reformation is needed in prophetic interpretation. Abandoning speculation and dogmatism, those who seek to understand symbolic prophecy, and especially the mysterious prophecies of the apocalypse, should turn to the real helps which God has given to the comprehension of these portions of his word. The primary key to scripture is scripture itself. The gate of entrance to the meaning of symbolic prophecy is divine interpretation. The first duty of the student of prophecy is to listen to that which the revealing spirit has said as to the meaning of his own mysterious utterances. The Old Testament Introduction to the Apocalypse He who would enter the temple of truth must be content to do so by the divinely given door. The Old Testament is certainly the entrance to the new, and in a special manner the book of Daniel in the Old Testament is the porch or passage leading to the Apocalypse. In his observations on the prophecies of Daniel and the Apocalypse of St. John, Sir Isaac Newton says, Among the old prophecies, Daniel is most distinct in order of time and easiest to be understood, and therefore in those things which relate to the last times, he must be made the key to the rest. On the connection of Daniel and Revelation, he says, the Apocalypse of John is written in the same style and language with the prophecies of Daniel, and hath the same relation to them which they have to one another, so that all of them together make but one complete prophecy. The Apocalypse should thus be regarded as the New Testament sequel to the book of Daniel. The books of Daniel and Revelation may be considered as parts one and two of a single prophecy, a prophecy relating to the same subject and presenting that subject in the same symbolic form. They unfold earlier and later portions of the same great story. The book of Daniel holds a transitional position in Old Testament scripture. In it, prophecy ceases to be Jewish and becomes Gentile. It is thus suited to be an introduction to New Testament prophecy relating to the course of Gentile history. All the events foretold in the Apocalypse belong to that order of things and course of ages predicted in the book of Daniel. The introductory vision in Daniel, that of the image, the stone, and the mountain, sketches the complete course of the five kingdoms of history and prophecy. And like the vaults of heaven embracing the extent and circumference of the earth, arches in the entire future of the world with celestial ease and stability. It starts from the time then present and terminates on the verge of eternity. The grand outline given in this introductory vision is filled in by later prophecies. Each succeeding prophecy adds further details, but no fresh outline is presented. The sublime framework of the five empires remains unaltered. All the visions of the apocalypse belong to this outline. They cannot be properly understood until they are fitted into it.
and take their place in it as part of a great symbolic revelation concerning the course and succession of earthly empires and the rise and establishment of the kingdom of God.